Today in our 2018 Honda Odyssey, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector, part number C56382. This is what our wiring looks like when it's installed. As you can see, it's going to live inside of the vehicle. It's going to give you all the proper lighting functions for your trailer, your tail lights, your running lights, your blinkers, and your ground. It's also going to come with a dust cap that's going to protect all your metal connections from corrosion. These are made to live inside of the vehicle. When in use, you want to make sure you go over top of this rubber seal. Stay away from any connection points that your hatch is going to make. Just simply take out what you need and close your hatch. As you can see, you'll have plenty to get to your trailer connection. When not in use, you simply roll it up and you can store it right in your side compartment. Now this is what your wiring kit's going to look like when you receive it. You're going to get a few different fuses. Fuse holder is going to be already attached to your wiring, your four pole connection, and what's most important is your converter box. What your converter box is going to do is that's going to keep any back feed from your trailer going into your factory wiring if there's a problem with the trailer wiring itself. First thing we need to do to start our installation is we're going to take out this panel here. You're going to have two hooks just like this that are down here on the inside. You want to take a pair of channel locks and a paper towel or a rag and we're going to turn this just enough to get it loosened then we can take it out by hand. And we'll have one more on the passenger side. Then we'll just gently pull up and pop it out of place. And we're going to set this aside to be reinstalled. Next, we'll have one more here on this side panel on the driver's side. Next, what we want to do is this panel right here up toward the seat. We're going to be looking for this plug right here. We need to run our wire underneath and up to that plug. Right here, you're going to have this tab that sticks out of the back. You want to make sure you come around that. And all we want is just enough room to get our wiring up there. We don't have to pull it all the way out. We'll take the blue end, we'll feed it up through the bottom like this. Go ahead and plug it into our factory wiring. We're going to push it in until you hear it snap. So we need to find a place to ground our wire. So right here is a bolt that's going right into the body. We'll go ahead and remove that with a 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and put your ground wire in place and reinstall the screw. Once you have your ground wire in place, go ahead and put in our fuse. We're going to mount our converter box. Now your kit does come with two-sided tape, so if you wanted to stick it somewhere, somewhere like there, uh, just make sure when you try it out, this box is not going to hit it. I'm actually going to zip tie it right to this. So I'll run my zip tie in like this. Now we can put our panel back in place. Mounting your box where I did is going to give you access to your fuse holder without having to remove this panel if for some reason that fuse happens to blow. So now we'll take our wiring, we'll just pull it out to the edge here, and then reinstall our panel here. We'll just put this down until we hear it click. We can reinstall our holders here. We'll install our cartridge fuse, 30 amp. We're gonna put that in spot number 12. So if you look on the back of the panel, so if we take this panel and we turn it like this, and it matches how this is set up. This is gonna be spot number 12 right here. So we'll insert our 30 amp fuse. Then you're gonna have two micro fuses which are going to go into 10 and 11, which is going to be these bottom two right here. 
which is right there. One. Just like that. And then we can replace our panel. We'll test out our wiring using part number I26. Left blinker, right blinker, brakes, running lights. And then I'll do it for a look at an installation on the Curt T connector vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56382 on our 2018 Honda Odyssey.